This organization was able to accommodate a wide variety of requirements that we had. You know, as we sit in the office and evaluate those criteria, it wasn't personal, it was strictly business. Stewart Airport is a little bit of a unique airport. We have the Air National Guard who is using the airport itself. We have some small commercial aircraft um, that utilize the airport as well as com commercial flights. As far as things that uh, were challenges while we were in construction, there's a lot of existing infrastructure that we weren't aware of during design, but they did a really good job of, of accommodating that and, and keeping their schedule. So one of the key features that were done in this airport was actually bringing in LED lighting for almost all of the light fixtures that we did. In addition to the energy um, reduction with the LED lights is also the uh, reduction in maintenance that's going to be required on these lights. By changing to LED, we probably reduce the um, energy consumption at least by half, if not by more. The addition of the uh, runway crossings, the duck banks, is also a great addition to the airport. And the addition of the high-speed taxiway and the taxiway centerline lights will help the airport grow as it gets more air traffic. All of our other airports have taxiway centerline lights, so this is the first step in, in bringing Stewart Airport up to that Port Authority standard. You know, I think Birds was the perfect choice uh, for, for this project because uh, of our vast experience in runway rehabilitation. We've done several projects previous to, to this major project at Stewart. They expect the best, and we're going to try to meet their expectation or exceed it. We look at the Burns Group as uh, a leader in the industry. We wanted the best out there at the best price that's going to be deliver the project on time and under budget. And when you look around, who was that? It was the Burns Group. <music>